as masculine boundaries become weaker, mm-hmm. men's testosterone levels start to decrease. Yeah. And teaching any sort of like masculine intent becomes more and more um, dissuaded. The guys who go through my course are going to look like fucking superheroes. Yeah. I think when you watch, and not to sh- put any hate, I love their podcast. I love whatever. I love Fresh Fit and I love all, uh, Red Pill. Roll Thompson is one of my best friends. But I think what a lot of guys do who watch this content is there's a lot of fucking blame being passed yes. around. It's like you watch this content and it's like women are the problem. These hoes aren't loyal. The yeah. three or fours aren't like this. And while some of that stuff is true, I think a lot of content does not put the onus and the responsibility on men. Well, listen, right? and it's so, only men watching us, so it, we have to put it yeah, on. Yeah, and we have to. But a lot of content's not doing that, right? So I think something you know I want you to illustrate on today on this podcast is that men need to start taking responsibility. Because look, at the end of the day, it's men who are subscribing to our OnlyFans. Yeah. It's men who are addicted to porn. It's men who are giving these yeah. girls this free attention where these average girls think they're tense. Yeah. Right? Men are the problem with that. And I don't think a lot of people are really, really ish- illustrating that. So talk more about yeah, that. So, so the reason why I'm never going to have millions of subs on, mm-hmm. on my show is because I, I teach improvement. There's nothing more boring than improvement. Yeah. Male improvement is a very – I'm telling you firsthand. It's a very boring mm-hmm. subject. Okay? It, it, in general, it is. Now, yeah. if you're around guys who really know how to make money, which is a small group of people, like mm-hmm. you're at a Taylor Welsh conference or you're with Cole Gordon or you're at the 10X conference, yeah. if you're around those people, which make up less than 1%, those people will absorb your content and love the shit out of you. Right. Those people are great clients and they're great friends to have. Mm-hmm. But most people don't like the concept of improvement. Yeah. I teach improvement. What what happens on these other shows, well, the reason why they do so well is because they sort of teach victimization. Mm-hmm. Like men are a victim. And by the way, to a certain extent they are, but women yeah. are victims also to a certain extent. Um, the main thing is like, number one, if 80% of my of my following is male, I'm only going to speak to men. Like I, I'm not going to tell women how they can improve. I do give women one piece of advice. Listen to a man. Look, watch what a man does and don't listen to what he says. You're probably going to do a lot better picking a yeah. partner. And also have one guy friend who's a complete slut. And if you have the, your guy friend who's a slut who like hi, hips you up to game, you'll do way better with women, w- way better with men if you have that. Yeah. And like having a really strong like father figure also helps, you, but not, not because he can be more discerning. But for the most part, my advice goes to men. Mm-hmm. And because my advice has to do with improvement and not shaming or mm-hmm. judgment, my advice is less interesting on social media. There used to be a cheat code to get big on social media. You know what it was? It was man versus woman. If you could make man versus woman fight on camera, you could get big really quick. The best example would be Fresh and Fit or... Sure. Or it would be Andrew Tate. Man versus woman fighting. Yeah. Man versus woman conflicting was the way to do it. And they've really ratioed that down a lot. It doesn't work anywhere near to the same extent that it does. Yeah. But like what I did was, hey, man, here's the thing that you can improve to do better with women. Yeah. That's fucking boring. I'm at, we talked about self-help. So I, 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 I work in the self-help community. That's yeah. what Men of Action is. The best part of self-help is what? The easiest thing to sell in self-help was what? Do you remember? Feelings. Mindset. Mindset. Feelings. Mindset. Right. Yeah. It costs me nothing to produce feelings in you. My my markup on feelings is what is infinite. Mm-hmm. It, the cost of goods sold on me selling you a, a mindset or a feeling is zero. What do I sell? Actions. actions. The worst thing in the world to sell in self help is what I sell. Actions. Actions don't feel good. Actions look like work. Actions look like trouble. Actions take time. Yeah. Actions require effort. So because I'm in the hard part of, of, of fucking yeah. self-help. Now, as a result, though, my testimonials are 100x better than other people's. For sure. Because the guy who goes to the Tony, the Tony Robbins conference, and he's like, yeah, I feel better, but goes back to his mom's basement. He's not a good testimonial two years from now. 100%. My guys are incredible testimonials because they went through, took action, and they got to the other end. So I'm all, uh, again, mm-hmm. I'm not... I'm not the guy trying to steer the Titanic away from the iceberg. I'm the guy leading people onto the lifeboats. Uh, And if you want to join, you can join. If you want to join, you can join. I'm the guy taking you to SEAL Beach to become a SEAL, not to be a regular part of the Navy. I'm the guy telling you how to become a pararescue jumper, not to become a regular part of the Air Force. I'm the guy trying to make you a Green Beret, not to become a regular part of the Army. I am only looking for the the few, the proudest, the fucking bravest men to want to come and do do what I teach. But here's the ultimate irony, is that as I teach you this, as the world becomes less, like as masculine boundaries become weaker, Mm-hmm. Men's testosterone levels start to decrease. Yeah. And teaching any sort of like masculine intent becomes more and more um, dissuaded. The guys who go through my course are going to look like fucking superheroes. Yeah. 
And my kids are going to look like superheroes because my kids are going to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. They're going to read a ton of fucking books. They're going to be in great shape. They're going to have really, really good dietary habits. Mm -hmm. And when they get to college, all these other fat weirdos with purple hair are going to look at them and be like, those people are fucking superheroes. Yeah. Those are superheroes. My, I'm going to have a daughter who's a fucking purple belt in jiu-jitsu when she gets to college. They're going to be fucking my, – my son is going to be a quarterback of the football team. Mm -hmm. They're going to be fucking superheroes yeah. compared to the rest of the population. So I'm – like Rolo's trying to create a movement. Myron's trying to create a movement. I'm just about the SEALs. I'm just about the Navy SEALs. I'm only about the best and the brightest. If you are brave enough to come and you are willing to take the, the, the level of um, – what's the word I'm looking for? A criticism that I'm willing to give you, mm -hmm. bro, I yell on the calls. I make people yeah, cry. Trust me, I, know. I make people cry. Yeah. If you're willing to deal with that level, then you're going to do really, really well. Yeah. If you're and if you have a victim mentality, do not work yeah, with if Michael. You, if you make a victim mentality, like it's not only that not working with me is a bad idea. You're going to get on the group calls. We're going to call you out for your victim mentality, and no one's going to support you. No one, because yeah. we're all we're we the guys in MOA are so they so clearly see victim mentalities quickly. They can quickly point them out. Yeah. It's also the reason why they're really good at picking out red flags in, in their partners yeah. is because they see the victim. And most red flags come from a victim mentality. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, most red flags, I have a victim mentality. Therefore I need more validation. So I go have sex with a, a multiple men. Yeah. I need more validation. Therefore I'm more likely to cheat because of my victim mentality. I have a victim mentality. Therefore I have a bad attitude. When you introduce me to your friends, I have a victim mentality. Therefore I don't like the fact that you're so open and you have so many friends. So victim mentalities tend to lead to the, insecurities that mm -hmm. destroy and erode relationships right. so so whenever we see that victim mentality we quickly point it out and be like dude girls don't want to be with you and the other thing i want to say is while I, improvement is my main um mm -hmm. the main thing i teach i also teach uh discernment without judgment so yeah. like it's not these hoes ain't loyal like chris brown it's yeah. it's these hoes they for everybody catch them all around they at every party they ain't gonna be loyal not to anybody but I still, still love, love these, these hoes. hoes. I still love these hoes. Yeah. And that's the difference. Is like the way Wiz Khalifa and uh and um not Project Pat, um Juicy J say it, mm -hmm. that's the correct way to believe. Mm -hmm. It's like like again, I've said this a million times. If you have a nine hundred body count, I'd love to go to the club with you. I'd love to have you on my podcast. I'd love for us to be homies. I just don't want to date you. Yeah. I don't I don't I love you. Look, dude, I legitimately will tell you that if Elaine Forshee, Nicolette Shea, if she ever gets married, I will be on the front row at her fucking wedding. Yeah. But she's also been one of the biggest porn stars in the world, and I probably wouldn't marry her. Same thing with Savannah Staggs. Mm -hmm. Same like same thing. Like I love I love Nora Ford. But if Nara Ford, like Nara Ford is not someone I would want to marry. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? I still love them. Yeah. And you know, one of the funny thing is Savannah Staggs, Nara Ford, and Nicolette Shea, they don't want to get married. I'm not even saying something. They don't even want to get married. They've been on this exact table. Yes. They don't care what we say. Yeah, they don't care what we say. They don't want to get care. married. Yeah. They don't. They want to make money on OF. They don't want to get married. It's like if if it's like six women per every 1,000 is the rate at which people are getting married. Mm -hmm. The marriage, the, one of the reasons, so the divorce rate mm -hmm. leveled off. It didn't, it didn't keep increasing. And one of the reasons why is because the marriage rate just plummeted. Yeah. People aren't getting married. And so yeah. why is so whenever you tell whenever I tell a lot of these girls, it's like, you understand how you'd be hard to date? Their, their response is, yeah, but I don't want to date anyway. I want to yeah. I want to fuck whoever I want on my OnlyFans. I don't want to get married. Yeah. You know, I don't want I've already had a kid. I don't want to have another kid, blah blah blah, whatever. Or if I have a kid, I don't need a man. And then those the thing is like, you know, when you when you go to church, you read the Bible. When you have the prescription of like I want to be a bad independent bitch, you don't have a you don't have the Bible. You know what you have? You have Cardi B. You have Megan the Stallion. Yeah. They're telling you, they're giving you a playbook on how to live your life. Yeah. It's terrible advice, but it's 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 the playbook on how to live your life. Yeah. When you ask, when you survey women who work, 83% of women who work say that if they had the opportunity to have stayed home with the children instead of working, 83% of the time they said they would rather do that. Yeah. You don't see the same thing with men. 100%. You don't. It's, so it's just this massive yeah. dimorphic difference. So again, nobody is a bigger fan of fucking Brandy Andrews. I love her. I, all these girls, I think they're fucking awesome. I've had so many girls. Dude, Isabella James, God, she's amazing. She yeah. was an awesome person. Yeah. I fucking love Swedish Bella. They're all cool. They're all friends of mine, but I wouldn't want to marry them. Now, the difference is, not, not specifically because yeah. they're like good friends hey, of mine. Hey, the biggest proponent of hoes is me. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I have no judgment. The, 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 the other part is like... It would be different if it was like Kindly Myers or Caitlin Ronk, and they don't po they don't post nude and they don't have sex on their yeah. on their IG. That would be different. The, someone like that, I know 
lot of people think it's crazy because I'm really different from the red pill people. Yeah. I don't care if I have a girlfriend who's on OnlyFans showing bikini pictures and she's not nude. That doesn't really bother me. Yeah. That's, Today, that's just being a, that's, a model. That's not a big yeah. deal to me. Or Patreon. Yeah. What I, what I, it's not an issue. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not efficient. What I would not want to do is, as a performance coach, date a woman and then my clients go on her OF and watch her fuck other men <laughs> for fucking four ninety nine. dollars I can't do that. Yeah. And it doesn't make me a misogynist or a bigot for feeling that way. Yeah. 